Hello once again, this is the VG Pierce. I'll be coming at you with the 2018 Blood Bowl 2 World Cup. And we are gonna be taking a look here. Amazon team versus the humans. And I kind of would like to see the Amazon team win this one because, you know, humans, they think they're just so good in life, but no. <laughs> no, you know what? I'm glad to see all these humans prospering because humans have been getting the fuzzy end of the stick for quite a long bit but of course Amazon's right they've been looking so good why not and they did win against a pretty good coach in Andy Davos Dark Elf so both sides looking pretty strong let's see if we're able to check out the re-roll not re-roll the, the replay <laughs> re -roll. and let's see if we can watch it yes we can all right perfect so of course in my preliminary prediction, I said I like the Amazon team only because, you know, I'm a little bit tired of seeing human mirror matchups, which is likely will, what will happen with Andre winning against Arzawain, the human team. So now we are going to see in the Tower of London, the Amazon team, TYS123, Queenies Queens versus the humans, coached by Ornan, the Rebel Rampage. Uh, just about everyone has submitted their skill during so I'm gonna do that a little bit later In fact everyone did except for one person, but I'm giving an extension since I uh, Since I was away So as soon as I'm done doing these replays, then I will get on the skills guys hold the horsies Humans versus Amazon team Hopefully this Amazon team will be seeing the final eight teams be there because man, like I said, human versus humans. Boring! But no, it's alright though. <laughs> not really boring, but still. One of those things where I just like not seeing mirror matchups, I guess. One of those things, Blood Bowl. Mirror matchups, not so fun to watch, I think. But of course, Rebel Rampage, Amazon team will opt to kick off to this human team. So they will get the offensive side of the ball. But as you see here for the human team, piling on with the mighty blow. That will definitely come to hurt the Amazon team. Of course, in the early TV, the Amazon team looks so strong. But once people start to get tackled, once people begin to get mighty blow and piling on and things of this nature, Armor 7 really is a glaring weakness for your team especially if you don't have agility 4 and, and amazons don't have agility 4 so with that in mind you have to worry about the amazon team's chances near the end even if they do make it past this round but it will be a nice good matchup here looks like more rerolls going the way of the amazon team of course here the nice thing about the amazons is that they're able to get loads of fan factor for the fame so they are able to hopefully be able to get there here plus two fame there on there but plus zero for the humans and as you can see here oh, it looks like actually the amazons are going to get it first <laughs> so amazons are going to get it first as the humans will kick off Uh, you want me to whisper to you? Okay, well, I mean, okay. <laughs> well, uh, I'm just going to do this cast here, and I'm likely not going to do the Necro game, so just give me until after this game, okay, Dern? Okay. Now the Amazons got the ball here. We'll be moving the ball up. And I was going to do the Necro versus Necro matchup, but unfortunately, just, just, I'm just out of time here, guys. Out of time. And if this game goes to overtime, even less time. <laughs> There's the Blitz here. The human team's likely is just going to stand back for the first few rounds. But as soon as the ball carrier moves past the midfield, we're likely going to see a change in action where the humans might crash the Amazon front line and just use their guard to the maximum ability and outbash the Amazons 
Normally, it has been the Amazons able to make use of their guard ability to outbash the other team, but with the humans able to kind of counter this fact, maybe able to get some hits in himself. But well, actually, it looks like this human team actually only has one, two, three guys with guard instead. So, oh boy, actually has a tackle on the blitzer, the mighty blow, and the piling on there, and then another tackle blitzer there on the left side. So this. It's a bit of an interesting skill take here, but actually skilling to try to win his games and maybe not thinking too long term, but I guess you can't lose with at least two guys with tackle. Oh, he's trying to play a practice match with Fant Fox. Oh, okay. Well... Good luck with that. More Wood Elf action. It's going to be hard to replicate Wentros's skill, though. There's a nice hit there. Amazons again. Actually, they do outguard the human team. So humans, I take it back, might actually not get into a bash fight with the Amazon team because they could get outbashed. And sure, the human team's got a couple of guys with tackle, but may see a couple of extra one die blocks that he doesn't really want to take and gonna have to take them by the end king of Vithin was that the only four of match i know is halfling dittos i see what does that mean Oh, Bonehead coming out from the Ogre. I believe I did it last week, if I'm not mistaken, Durin. <laughs> I may I may not have done it. I, I don't remember. So much has happened to me in, in the last week. I've, I've traveled over 2,000 miles and back. So, so, so much has gone. So much has gone. There it is gonna be a boat down dice and the humans are gonna get the worst of it there and two humans are gonna get KO'd so Amazon's looking pretty good here in this first half and look at all the extra rerolls and you may say that Amazon's look at all these rerolls they're gonna be getting but this really comes more into play if they go into the overtime period and especially if they go into overtime penalty kickoffs where the rerolls are really going to be advantageous for them so the Amazon team even though they are likely not going to use a lot of the rerolls and they're going to get a lot of rerolls because of the extra fan factor then what they what it is is that they will have more of the advantage once the game does go a little bit longer if they can survive that long but that's one of those things where every little bit counts right I mean if you can get to the overtime period you're not as worried about if you're loaded up with rerolls where the other team may not have as many rerolls left if any <laughs> I know well actually I've been traveling a lot for the last two years now so not two years. actually no in the last year and a half I'm doing a lot more travels more business trips it's good and bad the good news is you get to check out the locales and spend company money but uh, the bad thing is I'm away from Blood Bowl I mean that's that's just paramount right? I mean, that's just everything there you go humans gonna be spending their rerolls trying to get these hits out if, if anything just try to get these pushes and of course those blitzers of the Amazon team starting off with Blodge four of them even so difficult to take down especially in early bits the humans with two tacklers may be the difference but we'll have to wait and see so far so bad two KOs on the human side not exactly the numbers that you want to see you want to see the Amazons getting the KOs not the humans so Ornan Gonna be playing here uphill, especially in this first half. You didn't upload your own game? 
That's okay, Duran. I'll do it for you, but only, but it'll be in my channel. It's okay. Look, if it ends up on my channel, then it'll get like you know, at least two, three hundred looks, right? I mean. <laughs> the dodgy way Amazons, they're not agility four, so unfortunately, gonna get one and nine there. Did have to dodge inherent on them, but not exactly the best people to do those dodges because if they fail to dodge, you're likely not gonna re roll it. But right there with five re rolls. Probably, probably could have afforded something here, but actually no, he, she did use the dive reroll, so... One of those things where Amazons, they don't necessarily need five rerolls, but... Happens. <laughs> you may just get five on yours. Well, you know, you're, you're more renowned as the Twitcher, right? And, and, um, and I've always just been on YouTube until recently. Before I didn't do these replays online and really it's because I didn't want to get too distracted by the chat but with Blood Bowl being the way it is a lot of times in the beginning turns especially it's, it's just like well normally not too many things happen it's really in the critical rounds that you really got to be paying attention but thus far the Amazon team has been absolutely girl handling the human All this girl power makes you squeal. As they should be able to make this touchdown fairly easily. Up a bunch of numbers here. 2 ko personnel on the human side. One more reroll left. Still has Diapo with five rerolls for the Amazons. They're going to hold on tight to him, but again, it's one of those things where over time, that's when it really shines. And as we've said before, all things being equal, if the teams are fairly equal and the skill is about equal, then it all comes down to Nuffle and likely lots of overtime periods in the in these matches. More dodge fails away, and again the dodge reroll not gonna be good here. On the dodge inherent and gonna get the KO'd out. So finally, an injury coming out, but just due to the dodge but it is going to be in a guard piece so perhaps the KO'd girl may not come back into the match and that will actually square things on the guard skill side of the ball and that would be great for this human team but of course he's got his own guard personnel out himself due to the KO so we'll see if he's able to get back in a little next little bit the both down and yeah, there's the block here and we'll finally get the piling on in where's that been all game nowhere since he's unable to do anything with it but Lord Percy Percy will go down and will be going down to the death injury look at that and actually gonna let that one go as well so another guard line woman out and that is so bad and now the numbers are gonna be square here on the pitch but I think the ball quite advanced for the first round, or first half I should say, and likely to be scored in the next bit. Str the stream is getting laggy. Oh no, Duran! Don't leave me, man! Don't leave me, let me check my stream. Maybe it's me, man, maybe it's me. I have zero drop frames, it's not me. <laughs> It is not me. Not the best time to upload your game? Yeah, that's right. You have to stay watch. You have to stay and watch now. Big KO coming out. Oh boy, that is another guard piece. So with that, the Apo is going to be coming right on out for that Blitzer. You don't want to be down too much guard here against the Amazon team. But there's another armor break and another KO. And this time it's on guard and tackle piece, Blitzer. What a nice big hit, Amazons. 
might actually be able to move on to the next round just due to all these KOs. My goodness, and the Apple coming out and coming out quite early there. Amazon's looking like they're going to be able to rule the roost here. And the Armor 7 holding up just a bit better than the Armor 8 of the human team. Get the push here going. And then finally, 2 die Blast going to be able to produce something to fit it down on the Mighty Blow Amazon Blitzer. But it's going to just be a stun here. And she's going to be all right, guys. She's going to be all right. Turn 7 now. Amazon slightly just going to cage up here by the top left and then score it by the end no worries and with the bone-headed ogre no need to worry about that that one making any splashes in the waves as the defender down die comes straight on out and that will likely end all aggression coming out humans by the end probably not going to do too anything too much crazy because they don't want to get down anything crazy i think so lightly just gonna go in there and go in there with uh might actually do a foul here okay so there we go right when i say it might actually do a foul here but but, but no problem amazon team also with two girls to come in so she can do the foul and humans also able to come in with two extras from the bench so both teams not afraid to do the fouls if necessary. <laughs> you wouldn't say that the Amazon team is holding up much better. It's just, oh, um, uh, you wouldn't say holding up better so much as the Amazons aren't spontaneously combusting, says King of Viking. Yes, indeed. But I mean, it's a little bit surprising though, right? I mean, humans. Two guys with tackle has another personnel with the mighty blow and piling on, but not able to do much with it. And uh, gonna have to just kind of get these fouls in and maybe get down one of the Amazon girls there, the one with mighty blow even, but continues to hold up. One to nothing though, TYS 123 between these queens. And will be able to get the touchdown rather easily by the end, but loads of KOs able to just open things up and able to get that score in rather easily but the KO guard and tackler is going to continue to stay out but it is going to be round eight so another chance to get the KO personnel back but may actually stay out for the remainder and that will be quite bad because that is quite a good piece guard and tackle blitzer even so that would be a really huge miss if he continues to stay out. Humans does have a chance at a one move touchdown, if anything. Does have those human catchers with the eight movement allowance, so not too difficult. So I believe here comes the try. And of course the necromantic matchup, the mirror matchup with the necromant team. I won't have time to do it. Both teams going to gain a turn. Oh boy. So the humans are going to gain a turn there. And might actually be able to score it here by the end of the first half. Oh yes indeed. And with that, going to open up with the two die blocks now. Instead of the blitz over the top for the pushes. And the drop in for the one move touchdown play. Who needs to do that now? And with the Amazons... Just protecting against the one move touchdown is woefully out of position to stop this positioning here for the humans to take up the best positioning possible to get this two turn touchdown coming up. Does have this catcher here on the left side. Should be able to get another catcher to the, quite possibly left, maybe even the right side. Get a big old line here for the Amazons to deal with and then won't be able to deal with all of the threats coming out. Big entry, boy. It's one of those things again. Blood Bowl rains and pours, and there we go. Gonna use the apple there on the Dodge Line Woman, or actually the Line Woman. And uh, boy, if that was gonna be the case there, probably should have used it on Lord Percy Percy instead earlier, but seen enough, didn't want to go down yet another girl.
But we'll at least have the 11 to come in for the Amazon women. Here comes the big pass on the 5 plus! Oh man, he's gonna be able to get it on the pass reroll! Nicely done! How many humans went thrower? And we'll be able to get it out. The catcher moves up. Yes, gonna have loads of threats here. Line, the lineman here on the left side. The catcher is actually gonna be also a threat as well. So what are you gonna do here? So the blitz coming out on the catcher. Defender down die, that's perfect. But of course, how will the Amazon team stop this touchdown? Gonna have to put the big old net to try to catch the catcher. Perhaps all you need to do is just get enough women in there to make this a whole lot more difficult. But outlet receiver on the left side, catcher himself in range, and the other lineman. Well, I mean, he's got lots of choices here. So Amazon's, how are you going to stop all of this? You almost can't. Likely going to have to dodge away here from the front line just to get her back here to maybe help out. Yep, dodge away there. And where's he going to place her? Probably right there. Yeah, that's a good place. I like that as well. So the Blitz coming out. Wanting to open up some space. Get him away from the guard. Not the guard, but the uh, catcher. And there's the guard. Human Blitzer here coming in there for perhaps a two-dive block coming up pretty soon. Ogre making himself... Helpful here on the two die flag. Oh boy, he's gonna get nuffled there on the both down die, and that will be it. Humans won't even get a try by the end of the first half. My goodness. Amazons. Wow. It's definitely gonna breathe a big sigh of relief on that one. Wow. And I think the apothecary wasn't used on the death injury because 50% chance that you weren't going to get that person back. So probably was holding it there for another personnel that maybe it was just a regular badly injured and you can 100% guarantee yourself for the person to come back. And with the bench the way it is for the Amazon women able to still be able to get a full compliment coming into the game but it's going to be out the guard line woman with Percy Percy and that may be the difference here because now three guard Amazon women not as daunting as four guard Amazon women where the humans now are able to match up quite well with three guard themselves and not only that couple of personnel with tackle as I've pointed out Plenty of times before, and the mighty blow with the piling on to, to boot. So, this this is still not going to be easy for the Amazon team. Not to say anything ever is in Blood Bowl, but still, humans definitely not out of it, despite not even getting that score by the end of the first half. Still can get some injuries in. Still can get some of these Amazon women out of the game. No, they didn't get the touchdown by the end. You'd think that they would have, but unfortunately, no more rerolls left for the human teams. And uh, gonna get nuffled there, trying to open things up on the left side and maybe getting that catcher to hand off to the lineman, I think, or something like that. Well, that's kind of how I I know things like that too, Dern, because I can see the scores. <laughs> but it's always interesting to see how they got there. Yes, it is the Amazon team that dumped Andy. So, definitely the Amazons are up to the challenge. Lord Flashheart goes down to the injury. And there we go, Armor 7 coming to roost. Will it be one of those things that will just forever haunt the Amazon team where they just can't keep their ladies healthy enough. And that 
might be it there. Big injury yet again. Line of scrimmage. Women going down. And that's two injuries there. Back to back. And not enough bench to field. So that will mean the Amazon team going to have to play it with just 10. There's just 9 on the pitch at the moment though. So the Amazon team going to look like they're going to sneak around the right side perhaps. And maybe get some pressure. But the humans, not in any particular hurry. Don't push into the overtime if necessary. But as I've said before, Amazons, they do have the slight advantage going into overtime period. And there's a nice return injury coming out. Definitely needed that one. And didn't even need the mighty blow. But definitely got to be feeling good about having the mighty blow. Blitzer doing her job. Getting those injuries out. And taking down some of these human players. Now it's 9 on 10, not a big deal, but luckily they're just a stun. So gonna continue to stay here. The domestic abuse, eh? <laughs> you missed all my hashtag me too's on the other Amazon team game. Where Dirna took out the uh, Amazons. Yeah, well, Darren, too bad you're not facing off against one of these human teams, hey? Well, your orcs will be looking pretty strong against them. This blitz coming out. And it continues to keep these line women down. Maybe, maybe put them into a... Uh, put them into a box. On the right side. As they have already done for this line woman there. Six feet under. But now that the Amazons are down in numbers, don't want to get into a bash fight. Don't want to base up the humans whatsoever. So probably just going to be poking and prodding whenever necessary with the Mighty Blow Blitzer. And keeping her under wraps as well. Don't want to get her blitz down, if anything. With just nine on the pitch, hard to hard to keep that big screen up against the humans, and especially here by the end. They're not afraid to throw that ball, as we've seen. Five plus throw by the end of the first half, just to get the ball up into the midfield for his guys to have a chance at the two-turn touchdown by the end of the first half. But unfortunately, not going to get that score here. So we are likely going to see some overtime period coming up because I don't think the humans are going to be at all rushed to make this score and again one of those things where humans and any team that will play against this Amazon team will likely draw out their offensive side and try to get these injuries out just like this big injury again and gonna see yet another woman down keeping the women down underneath their heel There we go. Hey, Andy, what's going on, man? Oh, I, I think you've seen my message, hey? I just got back from my business trip, so I'm unfortunately just not able to get much done here. Oh, Dern's going to be casting with you, Andy? Ah, oh, what a nice sight to see. <laughs> ah, no worries. No worries, nothing's going on on the pitch at the moment. Just some, uh, just some positioning plays. Ooh, Ogre goes down. Look at that. Ornan actually using the apothecary already to the KO. So Ogre is out, and that is what a nice victory that is for the Amazon team taking out the Ogre, and won't have that big bruiser in the front line to worry about any longer. And not to mention also another Mighty Blow personnel that can get two die blocks here whenever given it to the Ogre. So that is going to be really nice for the Amazons. One die block not quite working out, but both down here and that is not going to work out still. On the one and nine. And uh, here we go, hitting that man down and also 
getting her a big stun on the left side. And with that, might actually give a nice little pathway here for the left side. And open things up here because if that if the line woman didn't fail that, then this would have been a little bit more difficult to to move the ball up here. But with that, look at that. Thrower able to just kinda stand up here and make sure that we'll have a nice little path on the left side. And here's another armor break to help things out even further. But why stop there when you got piling on? And earlier did produce more, and yes, gonna get more. Nursey is injured. And boy, as I've said before, armor seven. Oh boy. This is going very quickly out of control for the Amazon team. <laughs> Darren, you gotta learn to wake up early for these things. Come on. What are you gonna do when when you make it to the semifinals in the championship match? Come on. There's the movement here on the Amazons. Boy, with all of these injuries coming for the Amazon team, I think in the first few rounds we haven't really seen that many injuries on this Amazon team of TYS 1, 2, 3, but they've been able to give it as much as they've been able to get it, so they will be able to help them even further. So both sides taking the red crosses. But so far it's the Amazon women getting a little bit more of the beating two extra down on their side it's an absolute injury fiesta here's the blitz coming out and finally Gonna be able to dodge away from danger. The mighty blow blitzer holding on strong. Will it be enough? Four more turns left, humans. Not in any particular hurry, so gonna continue to hold that ball, but will it be to the detriment? Oh boy, two die block not working out, so there we go. Humans down to one. This is kind of what I'm talking about here. Overtime period. Gonna be advantageous for those with the extra re-rolls. And in the second half, it carries over. So, one of those things where Amazon will definitely love that they'll have the extra re-rolls. But what they're not loving is the amount of girls that are down due to the injuries. But thankfully, the humans also suffering a few injuries themselves. And so this is absolutely a bash fest right now. There's the blitz on through with the one die. Defender stumbles. Beautifully done. Thrower is going to get down. Going to have to put him to the left side. But the ball scatters to the backfield anyways. Oh, it's going to get caught on the six. Look at that. Very fortuitous for the human team. Able to hold the ball. And not only that, it's going to go to a catcher. The natural ball carrier as well. So after the blitz, should be able to free him up after the push. At least, and does get the push, so there's the free up. She'll be able to move him away, but where is he going to go? Humans really don't have too many places to run to at the moment. Both down, die. Oh, no. Yes. <sighs> Luckily, though, wrestle. Boy, I almost missed that, but it does have to wrestle on her. Oh, I thought something so I thought something went totally awry there, but going to be okay for it. But now, going to be going up. Going to get a little bit of a screen there, but Amazon should still be able to attack. Does have the Amazon line one at the bottom and should be able to get a assist over the top as well. So with that, two die blitz coming up, I think, on the catcher. In fact, doesn't even need it. It's got two strength catchers, so even just a one-person blitz, that's all that's necessary. Amazons wants to do it with at least with the blitzer, but I don't think a blitzer is even near. This one is kind of near, but only six movement allows. What? Nope. What, 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 no, gonna use the gonna use the mighty blow blitzer to get down the lineman that's in his freaking way, and we'll move the guard lineman up there. Likely to get the two die blitz from the bottom after the dodge away, but no, not gonna be able to dodge away. Gonna get one and nine there. 
TYS can't catch a break. The moment was here to get the ball carrier down, but the catcher cannot be stopped here. Turn 15. Humans, I don't think they're going to hold this ball any longer. They should score it here because they're just... He just lucked out, really, from not getting 2 die blitzed from the line women. So we're likely going to see the humans score it there. And uh, at least maybe the Amazons might be able to have something here in the regular, the regular period there to try to win it outright. But Amazon suffering so much here. I don't know if they can, but there is the score. Pretty much a... Done deal for them, but just needs to hold here for two more turns into the overtime period, if anything. But we'll have to do it without the Ogre. Three men down, but Amazon's five women down. Both sides, though, with two to come in from the bench. So ten humans, but eight Amazon women. That is, that is quite difficult. Quite difficult. Amazons are once again going to need to rely on some more entries coming out. But it is going to be two more turns left. If they can win it here in the next two turns, then don't have to worry about the numbers disadvantage going into the overtime period. But if not, I don't know. Amazons exhausted all their luck versus Andy. <laughs> I think the biggest thing, though, is that Amazons really cannot afford to get at this many injuries and if they do then they also need to give it as much as they've been getting it and thus far in this tournament I believe that TYS's Queenie's Queens has been able to keep up with the injuries and be able to just continue to be on par or at least in pace with the numbers on the pitch but this time humans they too have a huge bench Oh, and the sweltering heat, that's that's definitely not going to help either side, really. This is all going to be down to Nuffle. If this is going into overtime, then that sweltering heat may come into tremendous play. So here's the hit. Mighty Blow will activate. And will be able to just break the armor and get the stun off. So one less human for... The defense coming up for the two, two turn touchdown try. And the Amazons lined up so that they can get the two die blocks all across the line. Does get the KO. Wow. For me, I would have actually lined up all my guys to one side. Sure, the defense would spread, but at least I was able to at least get a two die block on the one person on the LOS and then have two guys fly down the pitch for me so that I can have extra receivers and extra escorts down the way. But Amazons opting to go with the two die blocks instead. At least gets the KO off of one of them. Oh, but the ball is kicked quite deep there. And so, likely he's going to have to hold on to the ball one more turn. Way in the backfield. No thrower for the Amazon women. So, it's not going to be easy pitch and catch here by any means. But we'll have some Amazon women here in range. But the humans likely to get an easy bit of surround here on all these girls. And not only that, should be able to mark up the intermediary pass because the pass will likely go to the midfield line woman and then after that, the handoff to one of the others. So watch out for that coming up. So with that in mind, humans, they what they want to do here is they know the pass is not coming, so should just at least get in the front or something like that. And then make it to where the handoff is going to be a little bit more difficult to to get. And there we go. Don't have to worry about the line woman there on the right. And going to post up here. So left side's open. So if anything, the blitz likely to come out here to open one of these girls. But no, the blitz is actually going to be coming up over the top there. Wow. And unfortunately, going to get the both down die. And that's really bad because now this guy's still in the way. And... Well, actually might be able to get the one die block here. Yes, going to be able to free her up after all. So there we go. One die block with the defender down. And might actually just pass it to her straight out. On the 5 plus. Looks like a 5 plus from there. Yep. 
Five plus. Hook down the pitch. Here we go. 50% chance with the reroll. No, not going to be able to get it. About a 45% chance to get that, but unfortunately not going to be able to release it down the pitch. And now it is going to be the all-important coin toss there by the end. Amazon team needs the coin toss. They still have two more rerolls left in the bank. So they have a chance. And perhaps the KO might continue to stay out for the humans. So that will definitely help with the numbers disadvantage. But here we go. And now, yes, it is going to be the Amazon team. They're going to be able to receive the ball. Look at that. Amazons might have another shot. But it is... Down to six girls on the pitch. Sweltering heat has been the plague. They should have had two extra women, but unfortunately... Oh, man. The KO guy comes back from the bench as well. And it is a definite hurt for the Amazons. My goodness. This is... This is just... This is just too much to bear. The sweltering heat coming up from the kickoff roll in the last bit is absolutely hurting this Amazon team. Could not afford this. And so with this being such a huge deficit, we're going to see the Amazon team go for a very quick touchdown here. He cannot get into any type of back and forth with the humans because they will lose it in the long run. So we are likely going to see the release down the pitch on the left and the right side. And likely going to see some type of movement there. But a death injury him might actually embolden the Amazon team to perhaps stick with it. They can continue to give as well as they get. So the injury coming out. Mighty Blow activating with it. Pretty good stuff. Amazon is just showing how good they are in this format. But if it wasn't for their armor 7 not holding up in this game, this would have just been over. But it is not. Amazon team going to move in there and not going to use the reroll there. And uh, good thing he went for the boss security because it's going to muff that pickup. But that will mean that one of these girls are going to get blitzed down. Actually, they're going to get surrounded here. And likely we might see a foul. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past the human team. They are up so much in numbers. So they can actually afford this, I think, but let's see how Ornan's feeling at the moment. He would say that the Amazons are used to some heat. <laughs> but with the ball pickup failure, you can see the humans put a little pressure here. And if the Amazons fail to pick that ball up yet again, then going to be forced to use up one of the rerolls. But we'll have three rerolls in the tank. KO, and that's not good. That's the mighty blow Amazon woman that really need to stay on the pitch to help thin the humans out but unfortunately it's going to be the other way around she's going to get thinned out boy a little bit worried about this ball pickup maybe maybe the Amazons probably should have spurned their third reroll there had to but then the kickoff gave him another one so using it there wouldn't have been an awful choice but We'll see how this is going to work out. 4 plus finally gets the ball pick up. Going to move it just a little bit. But Amazon team is going to do something here and do it now. But the tackle going to stop that dodge. No re-roll yet again. Man, what control from TYS. But this may be the time to start just burning those re-rolls, I think. Only five Amazon women to deal with. And now two of them are down on the ground where... Would have been nice to have at least one of them down the pitch for a quickie touchdown. But now with both of these girls down, humans don't have to worry about the score. And can maybe play it even more aggressively here. And that's it. Going to get the blitz here with the tackle and the guard here. And get right on top of the girl and breathe right down her neck and see if she likes it. And if anything girls don't like is creepy breathing down the neck I know that from personal 
but but not but not because I've done it, guys. Not, no. <laughs> There's the big foul here. No call from the ref. Play on. Stun on her though, and that is really bad. Just a little bit of a stun, but that is going to reduce the numbers. <laughs> That gets tense. I always, I never fail to deliver, do I? There's the dodge away, and there we go. The oh, the reroll is gonna be good, and we'll be able to get the blitz to die here. And that is just being able to push him away. But where is the blitz gonna go? Nowhere. Just gonna have to dodge away and need her to make it. Oh boy, just able to make it, but they are absolutely getting pushed back. She's gonna need to get the four plus three plus. Yes. Oh man, but she can only go closer to the ball and like I said before no outlet receiver or anything So the humans are gonna be content with this. They have the numbers advantage Oh yes, indeed and if anything they're gonna continue to do those fouls. Why not? I mean, it's just too good There's the blitz here. So again gonna put the tackler right on top of the ball carrier for some more creepy breathing. Oh yes indeed. And the Amazons are gonna get surrounded yet again. And they are definitely not for the lap dances. And the movement coming in here and the foul coming out. I'm a little surprised this guy didn't do the foul but... Nonetheless, here we go. We'll get the boot in. Oh, it's gonna get sent off there and no armor breaks. And look at this. This is a nice little opening here for the Amazon women to perhaps break through. And this is something that they could actually take advantage here. Yes, there is gonna be the push away. And uh, oh boy, there is gonna be yet another opening there for the Amazon women. Just needs to dodge away from the tackler, but they're not gonna be able to do it, but at least still has millions of rerolls in the bank. Can't get one to nine. No, not gonna get one to nine here. Three plus, no, four plus the pass from there. And the intercept is no good. Of, no, you're not an interception. The interception on the reroll. Got the six. Got the six on the reroll. Got the six on the reroll. Oh, and the creepy breathers. They are able to get the interception. The pick one. The pick one. Normally, you know, NFL is pick six, right? But it's a pick one because, you know, pick one point. Anyways, well, the blitz coming out, piling on Mighty Blue. And we'll be able to get the hit in the armor break and why not this is why we've gotten piling on to try to stop this and we'll be able to move on and get the touchdown by the end oh man The pick one. Got it. Catch apps. The catch skill did a thing and was able to reroll the interception for the turnaround. Easy score. Oh boy, a, a, just a small glimmer of light there, given to the Amazon team and was just shut down. All the KOs, all the injuries, but moreover the sweltering heat by the end. Absolutely down way too many Amazons and unfortunately unable to recover and that is that for this Amazon team another human team rolls on as they will have another human mirror coming up but boy that was definitely a great match for these two great coaches and it will be Noblisa y Valor Taking on Ornan's Rebel Rampage Human Mirror. And uh, boy, and that is it for today. Man, I am done. And so, just to put out the score here.
Kobayashi Maru does take the win in this Necro Mirror matchup. The second Mirror matchup for that team will be able to take the score here and get in 2-1 and will face off against Guinness's Lizard team. And this is going to be yet another tough matchup. RTSD definitely not a slouch of a coach and will be playing the Necromantic team with Werewolves with Claw, Mighty Blow, piling on, all that jazz. Humans versus Undead in the quarterfinals. Durin's or team taking on yet another Wood Elf team. Will he have similar success as he did against Wolf Bainson's Wood Elf team? We'll see. But the Human Mirror matchup, boy, this is going to be a good one here by the end. Join me on August 14th. We'll, we'll be doing it live once again. And then August 16th, Thursday, we'll be back right before... All of the action coming up next here in the weekend. I'll be back for all the Blood Bowl action. We're going to see every match. Not going to be skipping anything because, you know, there's only four games to watch now. So this is it. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Uh, unfortunately, they all, I have to go. I mean, I need to catch up with so much. I need to give the skills to the players so they can begin their matches and I need to go and do real life stuff so unfortunately I won't be able to do the last match but thank you for coming out to join me Necropotence, King of Vithan, Beazel all you guys out there always a pleasure Andy Davo, Duran, good luck on your match tomorrow I believe they are playing at 1600 UTC and of course yes thank you so much for the host Poncho but unfortunately I'm leaving but yes guys if you haven't already and you like what you see here Definitely hit that follow button, and if you're watching After Effects, subscribe and like my videos. More Blood Bowl action, all the World Cup right here. I also did the Champions Cup, but not this season because I'm doing the World Cup. Too much Blood Bowl to handle, but boy, oh boy, this is going to be a good one. This is definitely going to be a good one here coming up to the last bit, so don't you guys go too much farther away because Blood Bowl action, so good going in there <laughs> good night guys Pancho thank you again you are definitely a masterful man and I won't forget you and I think you see that I'm auto hosting you so <laughs> that is, uh, is is this your welcome there you're welcome all right well guys I'll let you guys choose where you want to go after this because I have no clue who's live because for some reason my buttons aren't working so we'll just leave it at that so thanks again guys I will see you guys for some more Blood Bowl action. This is the VG Pierce, and hopefully I will see you guys next time.